Hey you guys, it's Lou Barnes. Um, I'm a defender for OL Rain, and I'll be doing the Q&A today, so make sure you get your questions in, and I'm gonna start answering pretty soon. Let's have some fun. Um, I've been number three since I can remember in all sports that I played, but I think my biggest inspiration's always been my brother, and he was always number three in all sports, so I just followed in his footsteps. Who do I most admire on our team? I'm gonna have to go with Beitos. She literally does everything right and everything perfect, and I really admire that. Um, I need to do more of that, to be honest. Um, who have I learned the most from? I'm gonna have to go with Jess Fishlock and Steph Cox. They both have so much knowledge of the game, but more importantly, they just wanna share it with everyone, which is great. And young player to watch is gonna be Bethany Boats Balser. Um, she's doing great, she did great last year and I can't wait to see her this year. My favorite thing about Seattle slash Tacoma is always gonna be the food and coffee. The culture around that is great. Everyone loves to socialize and go to cafes and also the sports. We have the best atmospheres and the best fans. So yeah, I love those things about Seattle and Tacoma. So I'm on my 10th day of quarantine. I've really been hitting the Netflix hard. Um, my favorite series right now has got to be Gotham. And if you haven't watched it, you should start. The best part about playing in Australia this year has got to be the girls. We had such a great team both on and off the field. Um, it was a really special group and I just loved being around them every day. Um, the most serious injury I've ever had in soccer, um, I'm very fortunate to have very little injuries, but would be my wrist. Um, I broke it a few years back in Australia and I have a plate and seven screws in it now. Yes, um, I believe that OL Rain has had a lot of vegan athletes over the years. I don't know if we have the most in the NWSL. Um, I obviously love seeing this as I'm a plant-based athlete myself, um, and I love being a plant-based athlete. I feel like I have a lot of energy. I recover faster, um, and I just feel overall so good. So yeah, I love being a plant-based athlete. If I were to live in Australia forever, what city would I live in other than Melbourne? Um, I'm going to have to go with Newcastle or Perth. I just love the sun and the beach and I could get that at both of those places. My best friends on the team are Jess Fishlock, Bev Yanez, Steph Catley, Ellie Reed. I love you guys. Do I have a quarantine routine? Um, yeah, I do actually. Um, I try to just get up and get a workout in, stay moving, um, get a little sweat on. I'm really enjoying time with my mom um, who I'm in quarantine with. So spending time with family has been great. And I do a lot of cooking and baking. So those three things I keep trying to do every day to stay positive and you know get a lot of rest right now while I can. If I had to quarantine with some of my teammates, who would they be? <clears throat> I think all my teammates with the pups because we would have so much entertainment. So McNabb, Morgan, the girlies, Allie Long. Uh, who else has pups? Jess has a house dog right now. Um, and if I missed every, anyone, I'm sorry. But yeah, any of them that had dogs right now because I just love animals and I'd also have to go with Pino um, because right now it looks like she has an endless supply of wine and it's five o'clock somewhere. What was it like to play against some um, rain players in the W League? Um, I think it was really fun. Obviously, we're all super competitive and we've been playing with each other, some of us longer than others, but been playing against with each other for a long time. So always going to a different side is 
interesting and fun, but I was so happy for the girls and how successful they were in the W League this year. If I wasn't a footballer, what would I be doing right now? Um, I'm super passionate about people and the environment. So I think I'd probably be an activist of some sort um, while I'm playing. I work closely with companies that are doing stuff like that. Um, some of those are Open Water who make aluminum cans to eliminate plastic. Adidas is the same thing. They've got a sector of parlay that turns plastic into fabric and um, walk for water. I've done with Water First and I've also taken a trip to Ethiopia with them to build clean water systems for the villages over there. So um, I want to continue doing things like that. All right, you guys, I just wanted to say goodbye. Thank you so much for all your questions. I had a lot of fun today and I hope I answered most of everyone's questions and sorry if I didn't, but have a great day. Stay safe, stay inside, and I'll see you guys